So this first, probably I guess about the first 50 laps, what I'm going to do is I'm just really just going to try to feel everything out. Um, it looks like that's going to be, yeah, looks like I'll probably be about a fuel run, be about 55, 60 laps. Um, so the first stint, I'm just going to try feeling things out, you know, run the high line, run the low line, run the middle line, you know, just try to figure out what's going to be best for me in my race. So, first, first time I've actually gotten into a race of these in a long time with these A-Class cars. Um, I think it was about a year and a half ago was the last time I actually got like a full oval run in these cars. And here we go. 133 laps. Starting in 14th. All go low, man. And I am running the Larson paint job that you ran today. So if you see me running high, that's why. <laughs> Take it easy, Ryan. We've got a hundred laps to go. Pretty sure he wasn't. 131. Exactly. I don't know where the hell he was from. So it seems like I'm diving into the corner a little bit, a little bit sooner than what these guys are doing. I feel like these guys are arcing it a lot more than what I am. Oh shit, can't be doing that. That was me getting really loose. You got it, bro. Right there. Yeah, it seems like I'm going down to the bottom a lot sooner than what some of these guys are. Like a lot of these guys were running the middle line. But the guys up in the very front are running kind of kind of high and low. I'm not hitting this time. I'm sure some of these people will be, but I'm just going to run them. I'm not hitting at all, or I'm not hitting this time. Debris typically around the train track. We're going to have to monitor it now. Be aware of those all day long. Yeah. It's competition caution. It rained last night. The caution is for a squirrel that's on the racetrack at turn three and four. Watch out, guys. Watch out. I like this little Gatorade paint job this guy's got. It's pretty sweet. I dig it. You murderer. Are we really? You murderer. Is everybody actually about to pit? Okay. We've only done about five laps. Yeah, I'm going to go from 13th to 1st. Oh, no. Might be a bad idea. <laughs> But I'm, I'm thinking in my head, I mean, we've only ran five laps. Like, the tires can't fall off that bad in five laps. I, I haven't raced this thing in a really long time, but the tires really fall off that bad in five laps that everybody has to fit.
I mean, am I right or am I right? Hey, Reagan, real quick while you're here. Um, does my mic sound different? Because a bunch of guys in TeamSpeak said that my mic was sounding a little bit different than what it normally does. So I don't know if you heard anything. Because I know you're in here a lot. Better now that I move my mouth, that I move it a little bit closer. Is it better? Or is it still really, really bad? How am I in front of all of you? I have no idea. I like stop right in my pit launch and guys are too far right, they're too far left, they're too far back. I'm like, what is going on with this? <laughs> all right, 65 miles right in the now. middle of the box. Uh, going on green. Hey, guys, off. All right, come on. Oh, yeah. Wow. Huh. It might not even be picking this up. It might be picking it up from the fucking mic. That's probably what it is. I bet you it's picking it up from my one well, of my webcams. Pretty That's why it's not big enough for this. Let me. Do this. Real good drive. It's gonna be a long race. It's gonna be a long race. It's gonna feel like two. And a nine, nine just pinched me up into the wall. After that, I was long for the ride. There weren't any. Hey, that's probably better, isn't it? That's probably a lot better. Maybe. I'm gone when the green lights came. Is that on. is that is that better? Dude, I hammered down as soon as the green light come on, so don't even hammer that mess. Yeah, somebody came down, told me I don't know who it was. I can't quite figure that out. I'm oh, sorry to everybody else who I got think caught it, up in that. I should have done right, a better good. job holding it down on the air. Yeah, what it was doing is it was picking it up from my, my pedal cam, from this camera. Um, it was picking that up. Like, that was the default. So now I've defaulted it back to my headset. So it should sound a lot better. What's going on, Ray? How's it going? Yeah, right. Sorta. <laughs> so. Heck, at this rate, at this rate, we may not even have to stop for fuel. <laughs> Yeah, when you try to make it three wide on the restart, it ain't good, bro. Bruh. 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 Cheer, bruh. I guess you didn't leave. Well, he, he says he went when the green light come on, and I did too. 
and he was on the outside of me and I was on the outside lane so there was somebody on the bottom of me so it's three wide when he's trying to go on the outside of me put himself in the wall yeah right <laughs> eventually we're going to be paying for eye pacing get knocked up that early race I can't remember the last time that happened what's going on Don King <laughs> Bruh. Bah. Bah. I I started in fifteenth position or four yeah. Bah. No fourteenth. I started in fourteenth position. I'll uh thank you not to mention uh one and I, just where, please, did, uh, I didn't go into the pits. Because we had five laps well, on our tires. Your profile picture down there, Dusty. We had five. T we had five laps. <laughs> we wrecked. Point for you. I Point stayed you. out, and then I got down Bruh. to the back stretch, and the caution flag came back out. So. <laughs> That's where we're at now. I said for like these fi first 50 laps or so, I was just going to kind of fill out the racing because it's been a very long time since I've actually raced this car. Oh, thanks for the follow, dude. I meant to actually change the, you know, you see somebody the little sound. Right on Why can't you hold the middle? I mean, you had all kinds of room for you. Like, if you saw him coming on the outside, you should have hugged the middle, but you fucked everybody up. Right. Oh, what's up with this goddamn ailing language on there? Nah, bro. Hey, man. Uh, you want me to build you a bridge? Side, side, side. Go there. You're just a fucking idiot. Oh yeah, you're getting me. Go there. Holy oh, shit. Woo. I don't know how that was a Ford action car I was down there, but I, I don't know. Go ahead, Dusty. I, I don't know what I want to, Brad. Fuck. These guys are talking way too much. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm diving in way too hard into the corner. Well, I knew as soon as I got passed by the first one, it would just open up the floodgates. Because I am way slower than these guys. Way slower. Plus, I'm not able to use the whole track like these guys are. It's a lot easier to pass on the outside. Just, just because you can kind of control the guy on the inside, and you've got a wider arc, so your speed down the straightaways is much higher. In Chicago, I think, is one of the best um, tracks out there when it comes to mile and a halves. I really do believe it's one of the best. If not the best mile and a half. 
Because you've got about a million different lanes you can drive in. Homestead's really good too. But I think Chicago is probably the best when it comes to mile and a half. But I would like to have iRacing, their surface model is still being worked on. They've got a dynamic surface now. I would like that for them to get it perfect because I, <laughs> I like running the high line. I like being, you know, bringing out my inner Larson. Um, but that's just me. I, I don't know why I like running high. But here it just doesn't seem to work out as well as it should. Kentucky, Kentucky's an interesting one. It's not good yet. It, I think it's going to be pretty good, but it's going to have to, you know, attendance is definitely going to have to pick up. Ooh-wee. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just got loose coming off. I got loose coming off the corner and he was there. What much I could do. See, Kentucky Kentucky isn't Las Vegas. What I wish Kentucky would do is actually flat. Well, uh, flatter track I don't know. Like I think I think Kansas and Chicago land are really, really good. Kansas here on iRacing is a bit weird because everyone just runs the high line. Las Vegas is really, really good also. It's similar to Chicago land. But Homestead's really good also. So we're starting to, you know, get into a rhythm, get into a race, race pace. Shit! Damn it! He checked up at the He checked up at the end of the corner. Well, it, it wasn't necessarily my fault. He checked up and I checked up at the same time even if I was focused right on racing. There was nothing I could have done there. I mean, there's seriously nothing I could have done. He checked up coming out of the corner and I was on his ass. I don't think he hit the wall. I think he checked up trying not to hit the wall. I guess it's my fault. I mean, I'll take the blame. Whatever. I have no clue. 27. I gotta look for 27. Or oh, my guy. All right, there we are. Well, that, we'll just repair a car because we're going to be in last anyways. Yeah, kind of beat that hood down a little bit. Yep, I'll be alright. It'll be fine. I mean, heck, I was up there racing for sixth place, so... It'll be alright. Fix that little bit of body damage. I love 12 seconds stop. Line 
up behind the tree. So, I mean, our car is 100% now. We just had a little bit of body damage, so we beat it down, put some gaffer tape on it, and back out on the road. I mean, I had a heads up awareness to hit the brakes and not, you know, just run them, run back into them. As soon as I hit them, I knew that's what was going to happen. As soon as I saw them really check up, I knew that's what was going to happen. Why are all these people coming back down? The I guess they're coming in to top off of fuel because they think they're somehow going to be able to make it from here or or they just really like being in the back or they missed it last time I don't really know what the hell's going on with them come around to 19 but that's going to put us in 18th position, which is nice. Yeah, right? Well, they wanted new wheels, too. They just didn't want new tires. So they went back in and got new wheels on those tires. I mean, I really guess they were just in to top off on fuel. But they lost. They didn't really lose a whole lot of positions. I mean... They they added a tenth of a tenth of a gallon, but then they had to catch back up. So I honestly have no idea. Or they were trying to do the the Harvick two and two. <laughs> like, well, Harvick did it, so I can do it. One to go. Good line up on the outside. Good line up behind the fourteen. Yeah, it's been something I've I've played played around with and messed with and try to get it, you know. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah, you run a f full tank. Full tank is when you fill up. Um, Brad, I'm yeah, gonna, well, you uh, pit for fuel pull over again. Probably. I'd probably short pit a little bit. Try to work yeah, out the numbers. Um, but yeah, the the foot cam is something. I've been really playing with for like the past year or so, right. trying to figure out yeah. how to get it perfect. How did this become unmuted? They were talking like hell. Oh, when I wrecked them. That's, that's how it came unmuted. Now these guys are just saying, bruh, 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 bruh. Like, fuck. Shut up. All right, here we go. Uh, restarting in 18th position, so we've really only technically lost four positions. So hopefully we can get another quick caution and we can throw back our throw ourselves back up front after everybody pits. Fucking morons they are. So now we've kind of got you know we've got a run underneath our belts. Go! Go! What are you doing, 14? Why are you so freaking slow? God, I hate this. Fucking Danica over here.
side. Clear. Danica's keeping up. No way. Oh, somebody, huge wreck, huge wreck's about to happen. Outside. Still there. Still there. Clear, clear. And you're asking why it's not a caution, because it, he's probably stopped off the racing line, or quote-unquote lost control off the racing line. Probably about to lose a spot here. Oh, shit. Oh, it's getting dicey right now. It's getting dicey. I'm in a, I'm in a thought of. Oh shit! Either something bad's really about to happen, or we're all just gonna outrace each other. Cause some, I really feel like this is not the safest place to be. But I don't want to sit back. Like, I need to get past these guys. Like, I'm faster than these guys, but I just need to get past them. Like, it's getting a little bit dicey up here, especially since I'm overdriving the fuck out of three. Car just started going straight. I mean, there's nothing I can do when I'm got super tight. One lap it's loose, one lap it's tight. That's the story of this car in this race. I think this middle line may be the line right now. Yes, yeah, fixed set. So everybody's running the exact same car. It may we may have you know different bodies on it whatever but it's the same physics, uh, same car with the same exact setup so everybody's driving everything exactly the same. Um, one thing that the newest update allowed is adjustable brake bias, so you can adjust the brake bias within a fixed set. And you can do that within the car, so that's something that is very welcome, especially on the road courses or like short tracks. I know for sure I can pass this guy at some point. I'm going to try going. Try and see if we can't pass him high here soon. Oh, he's left us the, the ballpark. I was I was planning on going high, but then I saw him go high, and I had to try to fix my line halfway through the freaking corner. That never works out. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Oh shit, I probably should have gone up. Probably should have gone up high instead of trying to dive in underneath them. That's what got me loose there. Right front's going away. Starting to get really tight now. My tires are starting to wear off. Been running for about 15 laps on this set of tires. Get back, get back. 
Hey! Made that work. Try doing it again with the number nine car. Shit! Woo! That wall came up a lot quicker than I wanted it to. Diving in a little too hard that time, but just overdrove the corner. So as you can see, the multiple lines are kind of working. As I was able to make the pass on the number seven on the high line, and it looks like we may be able to get Danica here. And, oh, she got loose. So it depends on where she goes. Is where I won't go. I know it's a guy driving that, but I just that's just the paint job I know. Got seven cleared. Outside. Go there. Ah. Did the same thing that Danica did. See, that's how the multiple lines work right there. Danica went high, I went low. I was able to get beside, but I wasn't able to actually pass because they had to shot down the straightaway. And that number nine car is blocking. So we're going to go high here, which means we'll dive in just a little bit deeper than normal. There we go. Now we need a number nine to move out of our way. Oh, I'm here, still here, car. Shoo! Not sure what the number nine car is doing, but he's about to make a wreck. Yeah, right. Making it three wide on the exit of four there. So we still got 30 laps left on our tank there.
I think. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite the scary. Oh yeah, you are kind of seeing marbles. You're seeing them plop off the tires. So like when we go through the corners, you'll see all like little black stuff like flying around, little black dots. That's from the other cars. That's the rubber chunks being thrown off the other cars oh somebody else I really hope he doesn't try coming back on track I'm going to go wide just in case so we're now officially in the top 10 Remember, we start, but started back in 18th at the start of this run, so we were definitely moving up the field. Oh, he's hit the wall. We're going to go down low and let us have it, which is the nice thing to do. So we've been on these set, this tire set for about 20 laps. You know, we're running up on lap 30 on this this set. So it seems like about 55 laps is going to be how long you run. So if we run it out until 80, like lap 80, should be good till the end on tires, not on fuel. <laughs> or fuel will be good. Tires will not be good on. So. We're just going to run this out until we uh, get to about lap. No, we're just going to run this tank completely out. So we're currently in ninth place. So again, moving on up. As you see me running the high line, that's not because I want to be running that midline. It's because I'm overdriving turn three still. But if I turn, if like I turn in too much, it's gonna have the rear end kick out on me. Oh, save it! Oh shit! Alrighty, so we'll have another pit stop here. Uh, we're going to fix that damage there on the right side. Actually, no we're not. Uh, we have a little bit of damage there on the right side where we punted the wall. We got a little 2x from it. And also we have a, we should probably have a little bit of rear end damage too. But we're not going to get any of that fixed because we are a little bit up the field. We're up at the 8th position. So, we're just going to keep it where we're at. get some new tires on some fresh meat and this we will have to pit one more time at least well, that was a good stint that was, that was a pretty good stint oh we that must suck I'm looking for 27 there we are Twenty six seconds of optional repairs. We're not gonna take it. We're just gonna go ahead and leave it as is. 
if we get kind of thrown back in the back of the pack a little bit, we'll go ahead and do it. But for now, we're pretty pretty well at the field. We'll see how it affects us this round. I'm hoping for, you know, give us about 10 laps, give us a caution, and then we'll kind of play it out from ear from there. If we get 10 laps and I lose a couple positions because of the damage, um, then we'll go ahead and uh, pit, get the f damage all fixed up and everything. If we are okay, you know, if we if we get that quick caution that I'm hoping for, um, you know, then we'll just you know swap tires out, and fix what we can within the time frame. But let's see where we're at. So for that round of pit stops, we will be in seventh position. So we gained one spot. Uh, we gained that spot on that uh, one fellow who spun out. So we're up to seventh position. Just 30 laps ago, we were in 18th. So, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty freaking good. So, we started 14th, got up to first. Then, we were in sixth place when we spun out. Um, spun, looped the car around. Then, what did we do after that? Oh, yeah, we looped the car. Went all the way back to 18th. Now we're up to 7th. So. Should be a fun one. The guy who spun was the fastest guy on track. Um, he, he got pole position. It was the discount tire car. He got pole position. And when I was up front, he just <laughs> passed me. So, he was most definitely the fastest guy here on track. But we'll see how the rest of the race goes. Give me a quick radio check, please. Oh, 10 far, 1, 2. Of course, thank you. So you should be on the inside here. Douche. So, let's see here. We're, we're back up where we were the last time around, so that's good. Shows that we have speed in it, you know. I like it. I think it's this paint job. It's kind of running the, uh, the Larson paint job that he ran here today. Or ran in, at Chicago Land. <laughs> Going on, Mod Warrior. So I'm running, I'm running the paint job that he ran today at Chicago Land. So... Didn't really have the pace. Thought he was going to do really well. You know, it's a low grip track, middle of the day. Yeah. Want to start in the back. Get that thing filled up pass everybody. Did all right. What? I wish it was just a little bit quicker. Well, let's go green. What about now? You ready? Still got Danica next to us. I know we we're pretty close to that wall. We're going to go down low. Kind of use that slower car as a pick for the 12 and then pick off that slower car also. Oh, buddy, don't do that.
So we're back up in the sixth. Gain one position off the start, so that's good. Just run a little bit off the hot line. Hopefully it gives us a little bit of speed there. Just getting a little bit of loose there. 12 car coming up on us. Gonna give him a lot of room. Damn it! Gotta make it work. Thought I had it cleared. Thought I had that wall cleared. Guess not. Turn four wall just doesn't exit where you want it to. Hey man, thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow there. So you can run the uh, you run the high line through one and two and be fine. High line through three and four does not work. I guess the high line through three and four works if uh, the guy below you, I don't know, overdrives the corner like hell. Just. You're doing a slide job on me today. Oh, there's the guy who spun out on pit road. Is the guy behind me? Damn, son! Why the fuck did you check up that bad? Scared the absolute piss out of me. Got down in the three really well that time around.
But I am 100% faster than this uh, number 15 car ahead of me. That was sort of a dive bomb. Yeah, I was a little bit generous there. I also didn't want to wreck either. We three wide. Just wasn't tracking up the track. Well, that 15's pretty slow, but I just cannot get away around him. Clear, clear. Outside, outside. Whoa, buddy. I'm kind of glad I got out of all that craziness, but I'd have liked to get out of it a different way. Yeah, it was it was getting pretty nuts up there, and I, a wreck's gonna come from that, probably. And we made a mistake coming back onto the track, which cost us even more positions. I should have just came back onto the track and then tried to. I thought the guys behind us were much further down the road than what they were. But with the wore out tires, I just wasn't able to make anything happen there on the bottom. What is the 15 doing now? Holy shit. 
Probably he's going to pit. That way it makes it his last time he's got to pit. That's kind of an odd way to come into the pits. I guess he's maybe hoping for green flag stops, but that I mean that's gonna be 30 minutes away or 30, 30 laps away. Pace on a new tire is a 30. It's a 30 flat, 30.1, 30.2. So, I mean, it's two seconds, but we're only halfway through the run. So, by the time that we need tires, if we do a green flag stop, by the time we're going to need new tires, I mean, he's going to be running 32s while we're running 30s, and we'll, you know, just run that loop back around. But. At the end of the race, he'll probably be running like a 34 while we're running 32s. It might be a gain, it might be a loss, depending on how yellows run and how our green flag stops run and all the other mess. If we don't get a yellow, then his strategy may work. If we do get a yellow, then, um, yeah. Say bye bye to that. Yeah, everyone's just kind of broken up now. Surprised the leader hasn't came out, came around and started laughing people. And it's been 30, 30 laps. I guess that's what you get when, when you get everybody who's around the same skill set. I saw it wall coming up pretty quickly. See, what he needed to do was to pit, get tires, get fuel, get everything. Gonna have to come around and and then, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking just go ahead and fix everything because uh, I'm only going to lose three positions if I get everything fixed. So I was going to go ahead and get the damage fixed from earlier because it's only 30 seconds of optional repairs or something. But what the 15 needed to do was to get all that tire get back onto the lead lap that way he can 
be ahead of everybody, but his tires would be off sequence and whatnot. But on fuel, we're good to go. After this, after this, we're good to go on fuel. Tires are a different story. So depending on how the tires work out, or depending on how yellows and runs and whatnot work out. Yeah, but the thing with him is that he's going to be in the very, very back. So if I were him, I'd go ahead and just get tires. That didn't work out for you. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Who did I pass? <sighs> We're doomed. I'm not sure who I passed. Like the 15 was the only car in front of me. And he was staying out because he was a lap down. Give me freaking kidding me. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah, I mean, I'll go back and look, but I think that's what it was. Like, I've had it happen to me once before, but that was forever ago. And the only car I passed was a car that was staying out. Well, I'll look at it after the race. VOD. The radio that you're on has that little mini antenna on it. So if there's something pertinent you need to tell us, try to do it on the front straight away. One to go. 10-4. So you should be on the inside here. That's good. Can I serve it right off the right off the jump? Like can I come straight in before we even start going green? That way I can get a pretty good entry in. If I can't get a definite yes, I'm just going to pull around, do one lap. Yeah, okay. Fifteen, I'm going I've got a black flag to serve, so I'm going in. Hey bud, come to the green. Are you 
ready. Green flag, green flag. Everybody's rolling. Okay, one at a time when you get to them. I'm working on them. Thanks, dude. Just running me over. All right. I need quick, quick caution. Very quick. All right, so black flag's gone. Either I need a really quick caution, or I need this Connery guy to be a lot faster than me so I get the lucky dog when, the, when it comes out. Uh, it was really, really slow. Somebody's blinking really bad up here. Twenty-four. Oh, please call as a caution because you're blinking, sir. Yeah, twenty-four. You need to get out of the way. Staying high. Thanks, man. What happened? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I thought you were in front. I don't even, I'll go watch it later on, but I don't. Thanks for going on, guys. Thirty to go. Thirty laps to freaking go. And I need to caution in a real bad way. Yeah, yeah. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Yeah, six. You just killed the wall I could in our fish it. <laughs> you killed it. Yeah, that was a bad situation there, Mike. And I'm still I'm still hauling hauling the mail because I need to catch up with these guys just in case they pit and I maybe be able to pick them off in the pit road. Speed into the back stretch. All right, good. That's what we needed. Uh, we're, we're not going to finish very well, but we'll finish better than what we were supposed to. Because we're back here in 20th of 30. Where I'd like to finish at least top 15. Alright, so there's no way to pass. That's good.
That was perfect. You guys think Chase would have won if that uh, yellow never came out? Of nope. course. <laughs> if you say no, you're retarded. Yeah, Truex is coming on quick. Not that quick. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Oh, look at all these cars we're passing! So we went into the pits. We were, what, 20th? We were in la we were the last guy on the lead lap, 20th place. Did the leader stay out? Yep. Around right. All right. Are still on the back stretch? So we were the last car on the lead lap, which was 20th position. Where the hell are we now? <laughs> He must have gotten lucky dog. A 28 car. <laughs> 12th. 12th position. There we go. That's what I like to see. Gained 8 positions in the in the pit road. We got a couple of cars that are damaged in front of us. Our car is as bad as good as it's gonna get. We have no optional repairs. I mean, my hood's straight, so that's good. I think the right side of the car may be a little dinged up, but so this is uh it's gonna be a good one. Because we have 25 to go, and I do believe this is not going to, this isn't going to be our last time stopping either, or last time going pay speed. Two wheel ups. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the middle. We're not tired. We're not tired. Maybe we are by a lot. Want to go, man? My bus looks like it's going to be lining up on the outside. Alright, so, there's the 9 car, the car that we've been trying to avoid all race long. This time, baby, I'll be... And you know why I've been muting it the whole time? But here we go. We got a. Uh, we're gonna have 23 to go. We go back green. We'll probably have one more caution, one or two more cautions, and then they'll probably end in their caution. Or flip side, it's just gonna go green the whole way. <laughs> Get all cleaned up there, bud. Give us some good tug. And honestly, I would be super happy if we got a top 10 out of this. First oval race for the NIS I've ever done. I did not know we were going three wide. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea that we were three wide doing that.
That was my fastest lap of the race right there. Now I was in the middle of passing somebody. Damn, 14 is super slow getting into the corners. Do not come down on me, Seven. We are moving up the field right now. Look at this. Look at this. Thanks for the follow there, Duckfoot. We're back in eighth place. We got 17 up here who's heavily damaged. Should be able to run around him pretty easy. Especially since he's given us the bottom. He's got that high line figured out through one and two, that's for sure. But this right here is what we need. Good line through there. Yeah, he's got that top line figured out through one and two. So I'll need to be able to pass him through three and four. That way to take away that top line advantage from him. Biggest reason why he's got top line through one and two figured out is because I can't accelerate and move up the track real well. Sort of something like this. Or I'm able to shoot back out the track. I thought that damage on his car would actually hinder him pretty much useless, but. Doesn't look like his car's got some top end speed still. It's got handling. Damn it! Well, that's going to put us on the inside, which is okay. I'd rather be on the outside. I would have rather been ahead of him being third row outside than fourth row inside. Because um, you can basically get go wherever you want when you're on the outside. I don't think I've actually started on the inside, but twice. And that was when I was on pole. I mean, we're up in the seventh position. We can get a top five out of this. So these guys are definitely going to pit. That's for sure, because we've got a bunch of laps on these tires. We've got 13 laps to go in. Was the last thirty-two six? Yeah, it's time for tires. There, you'll see. You'll see maybe one or two out of the back try to move up and run without tires. Uh, may have gotten a speeding penalty. Nope, not yet.
You may see some of the guys out back also run two tires and then try running with that. Like the 17. I know he just took two tires. There's no way he just beat me out of the pack that bad. The 22 cars got two tires, and the 17 cars got two tires. Actually, 17. I don't know. I don't know about 22, but I know for sure the 17 car took two tires because he was right in front of me, and somehow he's up in the first. So he may have done that just to see how it works, and I'll kind of. I'm kind of curious to see how they work. I mean, this is the last race of the weekend, but. Just to see for later on, you know, put it in the back of my brain. Because I'm going insane in the membrane. But it looks like we did cop a position, though, from uh, John Grove, Mr. Uh, Danica Patrick over there. I think he was ahead of us. So I think we're in sixth place right now. All right. Yep, it's going to put us in sixth place. So we're going to be starting on the outside, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, because that inside line is going to be back up by that number 17 car taking two tires. Again, I'm not sure exactly where the number 22 car was, so I don't know about him. But I do know that inside line is going to be slow through the first corner. So maybe we'll get one or two more positions, get a top five. Or could we be doing burnouts at the end of this? Oh, man. That would be killer. First NIS race. Take the win. I would. That would be sweet. I mean, because we raced a couple of NIS races back at Sonoma. What split? Uh, I have no idea. But I have a three. I have a 3100i rating, and I'm number 27 out of 30. So, uh, and there was about 290 people who showed up. So I would venture to say this is second split. Second, maybe third split. I have no well, idea. Fortunately, you're going to be on the outside. Come on now. Come on, Tim, to go, baby. I kind of just want to win. Like that would be if I could if I could take the win. Like that this is kind of getting me excited now. Like I got I got to calm down. I really do. All right. We're just going for a top five. I actually know we're going for a win. I don't know. Just don't wreck, Ryan. <laughs> Please. Don't wreck. Oh, there's another Ryan. <laughs> this Ryan don't wreck. <laughs> I, just, I just don't. Number 27, Ryan. I don't care about anybody else, but as long as number 27, Ryan doesn't wreck. Look at the bag sitting here on the entry in the turn one. All right. As soon as I see a number 17 going, I'm pushing whoever's ahead of me. Oh, wow, he... Oh, no! Shit! Damn it! Open, 
I don't know what happened, Jay. Next thing I know, you and a seven was going sideways to the inside. Yeah, it works without the number, but it's uh. Yeah, I check replay. I, I don't know. I just do the slash. That's what I always do. Ryan, you just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Twelve got hit hard. So anyways, uh, so we're going to have, we're going to go back green with about three, we're going to either going to have, we're either going we're gonna to have two laps to go this time around, so we'll have six, and then five, so we may have a four or five lap shootout. Oh right, shit, <laughs> I missed the lucky dog call. <laughs> Luckily, we got our position back, but Danica's in front of us, so we're probably going to get wrecked. Closed right now. No kidding. Um, but yeah, let me see here. Now my line's going to be the one that gets fucked up, because that number 17 car is in uh, my lane, the two-tire two -tire man. Uh, where is, see who's all in front of us. We got the 22, the 4, and the 13. The 13's quick. The other three, I think. The other four, I think I can pass. Realistically, I'm, I'm, sh I'm, I know for sure we can get a top five, as long as we actually shift in the third. Um, not sure what happened on that shift. As long as we get in the third, because <laughs> we should should be two spot or one spot up at least. Number 10 car shouldn't have gotten us, but we uh, we pushed good old Jeff Gordon out of the way because 14 came down on us, and I had, I mean, you could watch back, I was completely off the gas. I, I was off the gas and turned and I just had nowhere to go. But the Danica Patrick got got around me, and I Are think we to go now, Earl? Yeah, 22. No. Uh, got around me also during that. So what we need to do is, um, so we got five to go. We're gonna have four lap shootout. That's if we stay green, which I highly doubt we're gonna stay green. So what we really need to do is really get a good jump on the restart. That number 17 really didn't go. He just kind of went into it, so it kind of splurged us all off. But should be fun. Should be real fun. We're in sixth position. Hoping for a top five. We're in a good spot. Not in the best spot. We are in a good spot. To get, you know, obviously a top five. But hopefully, you know, a top three would even be cool. All right, dude. Get a little belt and tuck. That thing cleaned out real well. Here we go. go. Hey, start off. Green flag, green flag. Here we go. Inside, inside. boy, go get him. Clear, clear. 
Come on! Ooh, buddy. Do it again, Danica. Do it a fuck again. I'm letting out next time. Fastest lap of the race. Oh shit! No! <laughs> oh man! Good job, everyone. Oh, we almost stole the win there.